Welcome to the Delaware County Register of Wills Marriage Licenses Department. I'm Rachel E. Zellberry, the Register of Wills. This video is all about scheduling your marriage license appointment. I'm going to walk you through what you need to do to get set up with an appointment to get your marriage license. Let's get started. First, I want to note that all couples should begin this process at least 30 days before their wedding celebration or the day when you intend to sign your paperwork. This is necessary because it may take time to schedule your appointment, given the incredible demand for appointments, as well as couples' busy schedules. Further, there is a mandatory three-day waiting period under the Pennsylvania Marriage License Statute. After issuance, licenses are good for 60 days and can only be used in the state of Pennsylvania. I encourage you to follow along by using the Marriage License Appointment Guide available on our website. If you go to the link displayed on your screen and you click on the PDF link, you can follow along as we go through this video. I'm going to discuss the basic requirements that you need for your appointment. For virtual appointments, you need a printer. This is necessary so that you can print the application that we work on during your appointment and sign it in front of the camera. Also, all couples must have a Delaware County, Pennsylvania residency in order to obtain a license from our office. This is a necessary restriction in light of the COVID-19 emergency. We will also accept out-of-state and out-of-county couples who can provide documentation that they're celebrating their special day at a Delaware County, Pennsylvania venue. Further, for a virtual appointment, you also need a Microsoft Teams account on your smartphone, computer, or other device. Again, a camera is necessary so that we can see you sign your paperwork. If you require an in-person appointment, your in-person appointment is subject to all applicable restrictions given the COVID-19 emergency and may be subject to short notice cancellation due to unforeseen sickness or changed government restrictions. Before scheduling your appointment, couples need to do two things. First, they need to complete the online pre-application available on our website. Second, they need to email us some completed forms, copies of their identification, and if applicable, a certified copy of something like a divorce decree to establish that all prior marriages have been dissolved. Let's get started with the online pre-application first. The online pre-application is available on our website, either by using the link displayed here or by clicking online systems from the Register of Wills main webpage. You want to click on an online marriage license appointments from the online system screen. Next, you want to proceed by clicking on the pre-entry for marriage license application button. As you proceed through this step, some screens involving disclaimers will display. Please feel free to read through those, accept and continue, and proceed to the application. This is the new marriage application screen. It asks for information on each applicant, as well as information on the parents of each applicant. Either party may be listed as applicant one. You want to fill out the fields for applicant one name, residence, and other information, including birth date and education. When you're done filling those fields, use the tabs near the top of the application to navigate to the next tab for applicant one parent. On the applicant one parent screen, you fill out information about the parents of applicant one, like the parents' names and birthplaces. If you do not know an answer, it is okay to write unknown. When you are done, use the tabs near the top of the application to navigate to the next tab for applicant two. The other party to be married or the other person in the couple should be considered applicant two. You wanna fill out the fields for applicant two name, residence, and other information, including birth date and education. When you're done filling those fields, use the tabs near the top of the application to navigate to the next tab for applicant two parents. On the Applicant 2 Parent screen, you fill out information about the parents of Applicant 2, like the parents' names and birthplace. If you do not know an answer, it is okay to write unknown. When you are done, you may either navigate using the tabs to go back and change an answer, or you may select the Submit to County link near the right side of the pre-application. Some internet browsers may display a confirmation screen. If you see this confirmation, hit OK. After submitting to the county, this screen changes slightly in that the link that used to read Submit to County now reads Print Confirmation. I recommend printing your confirmation so that you have it. To do that, click the Print Confirmation hyperlink. At this point, you should see the Marriage Application Proof Sheet. 
Exactly how it displays may depend on your internet browser, but it should look something like this. If you like, you can also save your confirmation as a PDF file to your computer. Some couples like to submit the form along with their materials just in case. Good news, you've completed the online pre-application and you are almost done. The second step is to email two completed forms, your ID, and in some cases, copies of documents, such as a certified divorce decree. First, let's get started on the two forms. The two forms that you need to complete an email are the last two pages of the marriage license process information form. That document is available on our website and at the link displayed on your screen. Once you locate that PDF file, scroll to the end of the document to get to the last two pages, which are forms. The last two pages of the file are the contact form and the disclaimer. You can fill these out electronically and send them to us or print them and scan them. Whatever is easiest for you is fine. After completing the form, save the files to your computer so it will be easy to send attachments via email. If your wedding date is flexible, meaning you are just looking to get married as soon as possible, and it does not matter on what date you sign your paperwork, please indicate that on the contact form. We use that information to schedule appointments and to make sure that couples have an appointment at a time that makes sense given their wedding date. In addition to your two completed forms, you also need to scan or photograph two copies of your identification, one for each member of the couple. Most couples use driver's licenses. These must be photo identification issued from a government entity. Finally, if either member of the couple or both was previously married, you must also send to us a certified copy of a finalized divorce decree or a death certificate, whichever is applicable. A divorce decree is a final document that you can obtain from the county in which you were divorced. Now that you have your two completed forms, your two copies of identification, and any additional documents that you need, you email those materials as attachments to our staff member. Great news, at this point you're all set. You've completed the online pre-application and now you've sent the email with your attachments. You're ready to be scheduled. A member of our staff will get back to you via email on your appointment slot. Appointments are about 30 minutes in length. Don't forget that for virtual appointments, you need a working camera and printer for use during your appointment. This brings us to the end of the Scheduling Your Marriage License Appointment video. I'm Rachel E. Zellberry, the Register of Wills. I hope that you found this video helpful and informative in preparing to schedule your marriage license appointment. On behalf of me and everyone in the office, we wish you a lifetime of happiness. We're excited to help you get your marriage license, and we hope to hear from you soon.